Driving a commercial motor vehicle or a CMV is a great profession. It offers the independence of the open road along with a sense of pride that you're performing a duty that is absolutely essential to American commerce. But the job comes with many responsibilities. The greatest responsibility of the professional CMV driver is safety for yourself, for anyone riding with you, and for others on the road. Safety starts with basic driving skills and safe driving habits, but there's more to it. It requires good health and a sharp mind, so you know you're driving at your best even when others on the road may not be. In this program, we'll discuss the critical topics that every commercial motor vehicle driver should be familiar with. Starting with the fact that federal motor carrier safety regulations mandate that drivers meet basic qualifications, including being in good physical health. The physical qualification requirement is so important that you must carry a medical certificate at all times, stating that you're physically qualified to drive a CMV. Driver wellness covers how to stay well, so you meet the physical qualification requirements and live a longer, healthier life. Next is probably the number one enemy of every CMV driver, fatigue. You'll learn how to avoid this dangerous but all too common condition by using fatigue prevention strategies and following the hours of service regulations. And finally, one last vital element of safety, whistleblower protection. We'll talk about your right and responsibility to report vehicle safety violations, to refuse to drive in unsafe conditions, and to refuse to violate vehicle safety laws or regulations, including hours of service. Whistleblower protection helps you exercise this right without fear of retaliation. Your chosen profession is a rewarding one, but it's also demanding. Following these universal driving basics makes it safer for everyone. To be eligible to drive a commercial motor vehicle, federal law requires you to meet the basic qualifications of a safety conscious driver. Just what are those qualifications? Part 391 of the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations, or FMCSR, says you're qualified to drive a CMV if you're at least 21 years old, you can read, write, and speak English well enough to converse, understand traffic signs, respond to official inquiries, and fill out required reports. You have experience or training to safely operate the type of vehicle you drive. You're physically qualified to drive. You have a commercial motor vehicle operator's license. You've disclosed accidents and traffic violations to your employer. And you've passed a road test. In addition, you have to be able to locate, secure, and properly distribute whatever you're transporting whether that's cargo or people. Of all the requirements you have to meet, being physically qualified to drive a CMV is among the most important. You have to be able to monitor complex driving situations and make quick decisions, to manipulate an oversized steering wheel, and to maneuver a multi-ton vehicle in crowded areas. And that's just the driving part. If you drive a truck, chances are you also have to couple and uncouple trailers load and unload cargo, lift heavy tarps, and much more. Or if you drive a motor coach or school bus, you may have to handle heavy luggage, help disabled passengers, lift wheelchairs, the list goes on. The bottom line is, anyone who thinks driving a CMV isn't physically demanding has obviously never done it. CM <laughs>